Hello Virgo, welcome to your You Versus Them reading. Please only take what resonates, what makes sense, what fits for you. Uh, whatever doesn't resonate or fit, please just leave it on out. It's just not the message for you. Thank you for being here, Virgo. Please like, subscribe. So I'm going to get into your energy, your person's energy, more into the connection. Uh, I will pull some oracle cards as well, and then we'll get some messages uh, from between you and your person. So let's get started, Virgo. Okay. The star. Beautiful. A lot of hope. A lot of happiness here. Really staying focused on the course ahead. The journey ahead with this person. There's a lot that you and this person are thinking about building together. You really wanting things to come together. Wanting to have that time, that space, the home, kids. Thinking about all of this. You may also be feeling, Virgo, that it's going to take some time. You need to have a lot of patience with this process, but feeling like there's been so much growth with you and this person, you may have been waiting for quite some time either to uh, be with this person or to get to this point uh, with this person, Virgo. Let's see. High Priestess. A lot may still feel unknown here. All right, when it comes to the journey ahead here, but it still feels very positive and moving forward. Look at this beautiful energy, Two of Cups. Definitely a soulmate here. Someone that you really enjoy talking to, being with, and you're connecting together in all the right ways, planning, getting things growing. Look at that, the lovers making choices here. A lot of attraction, a lot of passion, a lot of chemistry here, Virgo. All right, let's, let's go to your person's side now. Let's see. Let's see here. I feel like this person gives you a lot of effort, a lot of time and attention. And you're really focused on them as well. Seven of Wands. This person is really trying to get to the mountaintop with you. They are really trying to overcome certain obstacles here. Uh, this person feels like you and this connection is so important and they will do whatever needs to be done. They Obstacles is not going to stop this person. Look at this beautiful opportunity here uh this person feels like you're a blessing this person feels like being with you is opening up so many uh doorways to happiness success look at this this person really cares about you virgo i mean look uh this person is serious this person is thinking about marriage living with you building uh that kind of relationship with you virgo three of swords a lot of separation here. This person has a heavy heart. This person may be at a distance from you, Virgo, but also feeling like they're healing in so many ways. This person is ready to take action. This person is ready to protect, to fight for this connection to move, to get things going, to get things right. Those doorways opening of opportunity and growth here and commitment. This person is really taking this very serious. And I do feel like this person feels a sort of healing energy from you, Virgo. They feel so, it's like a weight is being lifted from their heart and it's only making them more focused. It's only making them want to come forward even more. Uh, you are their wish fulfillment. You do make this person happy. Nine of cups. This person wants you. They want happiness with you and they're ready to overcome whatever they need to, to have it. Okay. All right. Hmm. Page of Wands, Eight of Cups here, and Death. So I feel like the more you talk to this person, Virgo, the more it makes you want to leave behind all the things that didn't work out, aren't working out, to focus on having a new beginning here.
starting over with this person. And I don't mean like you and this person have had an ending. I just mean making sure that anything of the past or anyone that you may have been dealing with, that chapter is closed. I feel like a lot of you are getting to that point where you're ready to discover so much more with this person, ready to move forward and have new beginnings with this person. Look at this. It's all about this commitment, marriage, I feel like you and this person have such a deep understanding of each other, of each other's wants, of each other's needs, each other's hurts and pain, uh, past experiences. And it's only uplifting you two uh, together and bringing you two closer together and ready to end anything that needs to end here. Your person as well. But let's see. Let's get more. <laughs> two of pentacles uh this person is gonna juggle what they need to juggle i feel like this person does have a lot going on but this person is focused on opportunity with you this person does want to live with you marry you <laughs> fully committed uh, and they're just trying to balance it all this person is trying to hold on trying to maintain and make it happen the moon from both your sides, there's a lot that's still unsure or uh, kind of unknown right now and really just trying uh, to put your best foot forward here. I feel like this is what this person is trying to do and just really gain the clarity that they need. This person is also ready, ready to leave disappointment, ready to leave burdens, ready to leave. Uh, this person may be wanting to move to towards you, to you, thinking about a move here. Ten of Swords. Yeah, this person has had a lot of hurt. Devil right under that. Uh, this person has been through a lot here, but again, focused on a new beginning. There's a lot of endings here for both of you, but new beginnings as well. It's like you're letting go of disappointment. You're letting go of things that didn't work out. And you're only going to focus on energy, a person that is there, that is ready to fight, that is ready to get things going and be with you. And this person is with it. This person is ready for a new, fresh start. This person knows what it's like to be betrayed, is focused on healing, focused on being happy with you, getting clarity. There's a lot that this person may have coming at them that they're trying to deal with and uh get taken care of to be with you but that's the goal here from this person's side so it's very similar yet different here for both of you when it comes to being together and what you guys are trying to do to be together let's see mm, the empress Nine of Cups, Ace of Wands. So the challenge here, Virgo, could be balancing it all together to focus on what you two are really trying to accomplish when it comes to your wishes, when it comes to the happiness that you two want. It may have been hard for you two to move forward, to take action. It could be because of distance. All right, this person can be at a distance from you. You guys could be in a long distance relationship and that has been a challenge. It's been a challenge to give you the love that you want, uh, again, emotionally, physically, uh, in certain ways, not being able to fully give you that. That's been a challenge for this person, for some of you. Uh, and really, again, bringing it all together here to be able to have that movement, truth, clarity here. Challenge here was moving, taking action towards this new beginning here that you two are so focused on. Okay. All 
All right. Page of Cups. This person loves you. You both love each other. Most important thing here, <laughs> there it is, is the Hierophant here. The love, the commitment, the union. That opportunity here, that next step here, that blessing of marriage and being totally committed and focused on each other. This is what this person wants. This is what you want. And I've been speaking a lot here about new beginnings and endings, right? Here it is. A fresh start. It's like both of you feel like this is a fresh start. This is the chance. This is the moment. This is the person being ready, protecting, taking initiative, taking charge, taking control, and taking action. That's the intent here. All right, Virgo, let's get some Oracle cards here and see. Let's see what we get here. Building blocks. Let's build together. Definitely, this is the energy here. This card is a sign that you will attract a solid relationship. Already established relationships will become more stronger. Both of you are laying out an honest, strong, and genuine foundation. This is what it's about. This is what's important. The two of you holding it all together. Building it together from the bottom up. Beautiful. We have intimacy here. Allow yourself to become spiritually, emotionally, and physically intimate with one another. Wanting to get more intimate, wanting to get more close on all levels here. Real sensuality and sexuality aren't based on physical looks only. Your energy is what makes you attractive and sexy, Virgo. All right. Let's see. Union. Our love will manifest through the union of heart and mind. Expanding these areas allows our love to grow. Look at that. Look at the bride and groom there. This is a beautiful union. It's more than just, you know, how you're feeling from your heart. This person and you are very clear uh, as far as your mind your heart, your soul, uh, really connecting and becoming one together. A lot of growth. Expanding these areas allows our love to grow. Okay. I need you to trust me and believe I am working toward a union with you. This is definitely your person's energy here. They are working hard. They're staying focused they are ready to take action and again for some of you it feels like this person couldn't take action before certain circumstances it's like they couldn't they were either stuck but yet hoping wishing it's like they lost uh, for some of you they may have lost their opportunity to have happiness with you they weren't able to show you love but now it's like things are different it's like Building together, focus together. And it's like the time is just right. I want to hold you in my arms and feel our bodies unite as one. Beautiful. Okay. I'm struggling with codependency. I'm afraid to let go of my old coping mechanisms, trying to release the old cycles, the old patterns, mechanisms here to release and move forward and start anew. I want to know everything about you, but I hold myself back from asking. I'm afraid I'll get in too deep. 
There's a lot unknown here. A lot still to learn as well with this journey together. I'm feeling controlled by people around me and I don't like it. It's pushing me to find my power again. Okay. Let's see. I hope you give me another chance. Someone's hoping for a chance with you. I wish we didn't fight. This person does not like confrontation. They don't like arguing with you. I don't want anything serious. I thought about marrying you. There's that bride and groom again. I need time to think. Someone here is really suffering. Uh, Virgo. And feels like they. Like there's too much confrontation. And this person may not be taking action towards you. This is for some of you. This person has so much to think about, but they also have certain ways of coping, ways of dealing, ways of being set. And they have high uh, barriers up. Let's see. Cherish. Oh. Virgo, I'm done. Another card with a bride and a groom. Cherish your relationship. This person is serious about you. This person, if you guys don't talk about this, which I'm sure you have, this person is really getting uh, serious and is thinking long term with you, Virgo. But for a lot of you, this person is thinking about marrying you. This person can see having a future with you, having the home, having the kids, the family together, building from the bottom up. Union. The union of divine soul counterparts is a miraculous event that begins when you least expect it. Some of you guys are getting married. There is a union here to becoming one. <laughs> okay. One more. All right. Understanding. Happy couples understand each other. Happy couples are honest and clear and direct. Have that understanding that is important when moving forward. There is a lot to learn here. Love teaches us many lessons. A lot to learn here, Virgo. All right, let's get some messages now. Let's see. I am grateful for the spiritual lesson. It's time for me to heal now. I am becoming a better person. This person feels like you brighten up their life, like you motivate them to want to do better.
with you, they feel like they can do anything. I remember every detail of that day. So there's certain things that you may be thinking about a lot or over and over when it comes to your person when you two were together and had special moments here. I regret lying to you. A lot of secrets here as well, Virgo. You and I were too young. Yeah, there was a moment here uh, where either you or your person might have had to step back or you guys weren't in touch because there was a lot of growing here to do lessons being learned. Love teaches us many lessons. I feel like someone here has definitely learned a lot from this connection, you and this person. All right, let's see. But this is a very strong, beautiful connection here. definitely pull together it's like that attraction that's just natural it's just it's just right emotional falls in love too fast whirlwind romance can be a hit and run emotions are flowing here For someone, it may be overwhelming the emotions that they're feeling that they are having for you, Virgo. It's a lot. This person may be falling fast. Hard, restless, constantly on the move, wants to have it all, needs an active partner. Okay. Let's see. My love to you is unconditional and genuine. Hard to let go of you. I know I cross your boundaries. I escape when I feel too close to you. Okay. We are not meant for each other. Very interesting. Some of you may be feeling like there's a connection that you need to walk away from. Like you know it's not meant for you and you're ready to move on to this. This feeling here. This vibe here. Someone isn't giving you enough attention, Virgo. And this may be why you are feeling like this isn't meant to be. It isn't right. You aren't receiving the attention that you want, you deserve. But again, there is someone who is. <laughs> Leaving behind the disappointment. Leaving behind any cycles. A situation you've been in too long. Because there is someone here who is all about you and who is ready to take those steps. Like they're not waiting. They're not playing around. They're not taking you for granted. It's this person. But there might be someone else here for some of you. Okay, let's see. All right. Emotionally unavailable. Unhealthy attachment. Divine counterpart. Very interesting. Someone is emotionally unavailable. They have too many blocks, too many guards up. Toxicity. 
silent treatment, leaving behind toxic energy. Rose colored glasses. A lot of you may now be seeing what you need to see when it comes to a certain situation or someone you were dealing with here and ready to leave it behind, ready to walk away. Let's see. Let's get more. There is a third party. There's someone else involved here in the mix. Secrets and deception. I miss you. There's a distance here. I will find my way back to you one day. One-sided relationship. Definitely a disappoint, disappointing connection here with someone, Virgo. And it felt very one-sided. It was too quiet, too distant, too toxic. I abandoned people to make myself feel important. A lot of energies here. But Virgo, the most beautiful thing here is your future moving forward. Uh, staying positive here. See you receiving a lot of energy, a lot of attention here. And there's definitely someone here who's going to see you as they need to see you and not take advantage of you in any way. There is love here. And someone who is ready to take action. So I'm going to leave it there. Virgo, thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and I'll send you, I'll send you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.